What's up guys, it's Kind of Vlogs here. Really excited to be bringing this, what, this video for you because it's something that I've really wanted to do for the last few months, but I just didn't really find it, the time to do it and I was putting it off and I was putting it off. I just want to really quickly say I'm really sorry about this mess here, um, blah, 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 just over there. But um, I really wanted to get this video made for you guys and I thought if I get up and start tidying just, just for that little little thing of a better room, then I'm gonna forget how to explain all the things I wanna explain. So the title, as you guys have read, is like gonna be something like my rare um, soccer slash football card collection. And um, essentially, what's my story with, I've always been into like, back in the day I was into like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, things like this. But as I've grown up, let's say I bought a pack of Pokemon cards like a couple years ago, and I wanted to get back into it. Cause you know, when you get older and you get more money, what you wanna do is like go back to your old habits and your old um, hobbies, should I say, and try and buy more because you have more disposable income and it's like more fun. I'm sure you guys have gone back to old PlayStation games that you used to love or Xbox and all things like that. But what I did was I didn't really enjoy Pokemon anymore, but I did like match attacks and football stickers and collecting them. And um, long story short, I started doing that for a bit and I realised that there was a whole um, society and a whole, um, what's the word, uh, community that's the one, of uh, football graded memorabilia. So I don't know if you guys have know about, in the Pokemon world, graded cards is where you send your best Charizard card and you send it off to an external company, uh, usually PSA is the, the leader in Pokemon world, and they will grade it for you using like hyperscopic lasers and all that. Did I just make up the word hyperscopic? I think I did. But all sorts of things like that. And what they'll do is they will evaluate um, officially, like using their own seal of approval, this is a 9 out of 10. And then, because people believe that company rather than your eBay description, anyway, you guys know how it all works, then that you can sell that card for more. So, now I've wasted two minutes rambling and haven't even shown you guys the card, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, so, I'll just literally get on with it, guys, and I'll show you these three, and I want to explain them to you. So, these two right here, I'll show you this one quickly, this is uh, James Rodriguez uh, from when he was at Porto, obviously now at Real Madrid. Um, and this, these are just, if you want to pause that, guys, that just shows you how they've graded this sticker. That's what it looks like on the back. You can just pause it at any time. I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time. Just pause it if you want to read. But basically, um, I bought this card off eBay. It's in a protective seal casing. The, the, the sticker's in there. Hopefully, hopefully it's quite obvious. Um, and I bought that card for about £25. I know that's a ridiculous amount, but all the others were going for like £80, and I've always, 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 always wanted graded memorabilia. I know it's pathetic. I know, like, you should just enjoy the card yourself, and why do you care what anyone thinks about it? And I agree, but there's something about it. I really wanted one to put on my wall, and I put it there just above my Hodge Twins magazine. They kind of, like, stay there in the frame. So this is my next one. Uh, and I'll show you like that look. Actually, that's a pathetic way of showing it. Okay, there you go. Um, here's my Neymar card from when he was at Santos at the time, but this is obviously him in his Brazil kit. If you want to pause that there, that was about £30. Now, them two, yeah, they're really cool, and uh, I'm really pleased to add them to my collection. But this next one is just ridiculous. If you guys know anything about the Panini Prism, P-R-Y-Z-M, set, it was a pack of cards... Uh, Pokemon, card. Pokemon cards, it was a pack of football uh, cards, right, done by Panini, who probably do all the match attacks and things, but this set was very high-end, it was like the premium of the premium, right, so uh, you paid about £4 for a pack of like nine cards, and £4 for a, for a pack, so if you think match attacks are like 50p, literally, like that, that shows you, and you might say, why, why, well, the base set is worth nothing. You can get the whole of the base set, which is just the, the normal cards, right? You can get the whole base set of Prism for like £9 on eBay, right? So you think, well, why are they worth that so much? Well, what they did was they had all of the stars of the World Cup sign, like pieces of paper, and then they cut the pieces of paper out. Basically, the stars signed the cards, and in, in one in every like 50 packs, you could get an auto card, which stands for autograph card, and it really was them autographing it. Now... I'm at university right now, but back home, I printed off um, the proof 
that Diego Costa, like there was a photo of him, oh, I ruined it, but yeah, I've got a Diego Costa auto card. He um, signed like a load of these cards and someone photographed it and put it online as proof. Now I printed that off, but that's back home. And if I can find the video, I'll put it up on the screen. But I want to just show you guys it and I'm really pleased with it. Um, <laughs> did you just guys just see that? I'm watching the True Geordie. Uh, and as you can see up there, new video getting uploaded and Game of Thrones. So that's basically what I do these days, guys. Um, but as you can see, guys, this is my Diego Costa autograph card. He's got a really good grade. Um, and that's the autograph. I'll try and give it you in a bit better lighting. There you go. Really nice card. You can pause it if you want. Pause it on his description. But yeah, I am super pleased with my three football memorabilia. The, uh, the Diego Costa card only cost me £30. Now, I want you guys, if you can be bothered, go on eBay right now, right now, and type in Prism Auto Card, right? And you will see how much those cards go for. It's like... The Messi card goes for like £200. The Pele card goes for like £600. Diego Costa. Like I've seen the Diego Costa ungraded, right? So you have to think, if you pulled the card out of the pack, right? And it would be worth £40, right? And you could go off $60. And you could go and send it to this company. And they'll grade it for you for £20. So you've spent £60 on the card. And the card would now be worth £80. Don't ask me why I managed to get this card for 35 pounds now yeah it's fake it's fake it's it's not i know it's not fake but i was just someone was just getting rid of it the market wasn't great at the time no one likes diego costa i don't know um he's a little bit violent isn't he but like i'm super pleased with it guys so go online and go on ebay and check out if you think i got a good deal on them all uh, if you guys have any more questions i'm happy to answer them um i don't have any graded pokemon cards if that's what your first question is but i I wouldn't be opposed to getting some in the future because I just think graded things are so nice to have. They're like it's like getting a um, getting a piece of art and then framing it, and then like getting a T-shirt and that you got for completing a marathon and framing it. It's like really nice thing to do. I think. Anyway, guys, seven minutes it is, so I'm gonna head off now. Uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video. Any questions? What what graded football cards have you got? Um, answer that in the comment section below if you do want to check out my channel i'm posting literally every day at the minute um, i really really want to do youtube as a real passion of mine so if you guys could subscribe to my channel um that's it really just subscribe to the channel like the video make sure you tell me if you like my cards and which cards you've got in the graded capacity which great what graded cards have you guys got and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks a lot